Milosh. The familiar argument of tolerance that all people and all races are equal is a boomerang. It lays itself open to the simple refutation of the senses and the most compelling anthropological proofs that the Jews are not a race will, in the event of a pogrom, scarcely alter the fact that the, the totalitarians know full well whom they do and whom they do not intend to murder. If the equality of all who have human shape were demanded as an ideal instead of being assumed as a fact, it would not greatly help. Abstract utopia is all too compatible with the most insidious tendencies of society. That all men are alike is exactly what society would like to hear. It considers actual or imagined differences as stigmas indicating that not enough has yet been done that something has still been left outside its machinery, not quite determined by its totality. The technique of the concentration camp is to make the prisoners like their guards, the murdered murderers. The racial difference is raised to an absolute so that it can be abolished absolutely, if only in the sense that nothing that is different survives. An emancipated society, on the other hand, would not be a unitary state, but the realization of universality in the, re in the reconciliation of differences. Politics that are still seriously concerned with such a society ought not, therefore, propound the abstract equality of men, even as an idea. Instead, they should point to the bad equality today, the identity of those with interests in films and in weapons, and conceive the better state as one in which people could be different without fear. To assure the black person that he is exactly like the white man while he obviously is not is secretly to wrong him still further he is benevolently humiliated by the application of a standard by which under the pressure of the system he must necessarily be found wanting and to satisfy which would in any case be a doubtful achievement the spokesmen of unitary tolerance are accordingly always ready to turn intolerantly on any group that remains refractory and transient enthusiasm for black people does not exclude outrage at Jewish uncouthness. The melting pot was introduced by unbridled industrial capitalism. The thought of being cast into it conjures up martyrdom, not democracy.